Hi Halloween everyone, uh, because it's Halloween I'm gonna review Mini Ed in Hell, because it's a Halloween story I guess. Well it's it's actually not a Halloween story like that, but it's a creepy story, so uh, yeah, let's have the review. I'm not gonna give away too many spoilers and stuff because this is so such a good story, so uh, listen to it for yourself if you want more spoilers or something. Uh, yeah, basically, the eighth doctor and uh, well, they, they, uh, they, the doctor and Charlie end up in the U.S., where uh, the doctor is in a mental asylum because he's lost all of his memories, but he can sort of remember some stuff, sort of like he can remember like a bit about the TARDIS and stuff. And he's the doctor, and it's a bit weak stuff, I think. Um, and then Charlie is at this place called the Hellfire Club, uh, where there's a devil thing, but I'm not gonna tell you any more about that because you just listen to the audio if you want to know more. Um, but um, this story gets really messed up, and there's this other guy who has the doctor's memory, and they like, and the brigadier's in it, but he's old, and it's like uh, some people are trying to like experiment on surgery, cure people from mental illnesses. That's just creepy. Uh, so yeah, that's just a creepy thing about the story. But um, and they're like they have this machine that can transform like people's minds to this other machine and stuff. That's creepy. Uh, this is really creepy stuff. But uh, yeah, um, of course the Brigadier is really good in this, even though it takes a long time, it's almost towards the end, that the Doctor and the Brigadier actually meet each other where they have memories and stuff, or well, the Doctor has memories and stuff. Um, yeah, I think the demon in this, there's a demon guy who's really good, even though he is a bit just like, he is a bit of a cartoon villain, I guess. He's like, made a bit like a cartoon villain, he's a bit, uh, a bit like that, but he's still really creepy and good. Uh, yeah. This is a really sort of creepy story. I I mean it's not creepy creepy. I mean I wasn't scared by this story. It was just creepy, you know. I like I could tell that it some people might find this really really scary. Uh, I personally I don't really find stuff that scary, but uh, if you like are easily scared, I guess this is good. Or if you want some creepy stuff, it will. Everyone, everyone that likes creepy stuff will like this. It's quite a hated story. I don't really know why. Uh, I guess it's because it's set in the U.S. Yeah. People apparently don't like stories that's set in the U.S. For some reason, I really don't know why. Because the TV movie, no one likes that. Made in Hill, quite hated. I, I don't know. But, uh... Yeah. Um... Uh, I don't think it's because it's set in the US. I don't think anyone really bothers about that. Um, but yeah, it's set in this new state called something I can't remember. Um, no, it's not called that, but I can't remember its name. Um, yeah, but it's a really enjoyable story. My negatives are that there is no negatives. I have no negatives about the story whatsoever. It's one of my favorite Big Finish audios, so I give it a solid 10 out of 10. The characters are really good. And the dialogue is just messed up. This is a messed up story, but it's messed up in the good way. It's messed up in the way where it's not too messed up, but it's messed up a lot. It's really messed up, but it's messed up in an enjoyable way. If I could, would could like would only be if I should describe the story, and I could only use one word, I would say messed up, uh, because it is so messed up. Yeah, solid ten out of ten. I would. I've said it an 11 if that was possible, but um, it's a 10 out of 10 because that's the greatest thing you can give a story. Uh, it's on my top 10 big finish audios, it's on my top 10 all time stories. It's one of my favorite 8th Doctor stories, even though I have a lot of 8th Doctor stories that I give a 10 out of 10. Minion Hill, and the second foot to Earth, and stuff like that. Uh, sure, so. so I really like the 8th Doctor, but yeah, he's my favorite Doctor. The 8th Doctor is great in this, even though he loses his memory. Again. Um, but it's a great story. I would really recommend it if you can get it, because it is out of print. But you can always buy the download. Uh, so that's it for me, everyone. Have a nice Halloween. And I'll see you next time for a reaction of the Cycle of Earth and a review of another horror movie. Maybe.
So that's it for me, everyone, and have a nice day. Bye.